With the exception of introducing Katsu into your life, what else did you introduce about 10 months Nothing. ago? Nothing. The only change I made was Katsu. So over 10 months ago, you were not able to take your dog, not no. let alone a 20 minute walk. You couldn't take your dog for a, a minute. one minute walk. Oh, I could, but not without being shot. If I stepped the wrong way, I had nerve pain shooting into my head. That was debilitating. There was a fear yeah, yeah, involved yeah. In, in walking because you know, just like anything else, you stub your toe enough times when you make the bed, you're going to be real careful when you go near that part of the of yeah, your bed. Sure. So it was like that with walking. I mean, it's great to finally meet you. We've been emailing yes, back, and, back forth. and forth, back and forth. And you sent me your MRIs and stuff. And as a guy that spent a lot of time in the military with tons of back issues, as soon as you, I didn't see the pictures, but I saw the reports. Mm -hmm. As I started reading through your reports, I, I realized you, you and I actually have a lot of similar issues going on with our back. And my back is one of the main reasons that I've been with this company for seven years is how they helped me towards the end of my time in the military. What I get all the time from people, because technically I'm disabled. I was born covered from head to toe with eczema. I, I struggled throughout my life with various things. And when I was younger, you know, due to my father's death and my mother being disabled, I went right to work after high school. I was not geared toward I guess the pigeonhole that back then they would put women in. I was mm -hmm. not a secretary. I was not in, you know, involved. I wasn't interested in any of that. I took a job for Hoffman LaRoche at Hoffman LaRoche. This is back in Jersey. And at the time there were 783 men and they needed to hire a woman. I was the first woman to work as a chemical operator for Hoffman LaRoche. I'm fiercely independent and I don't let anything stop me once I put my mind to it. So when it was time to roll the 450 pound drum, there was no way I was not going to do it. Got it. So I had on my chemical proof uniform, my steel toed shoes, and I would drive the high low. I would, you know, roll the 450 pound drum. And I did a man's job for 11 years, uh. which was very repetitive and which is what contributed to my original neck issues. Yep. In addition to that, I also didn't live conventionally. My husband and I lived on a boat in New York and New Jersey. Why did you even end up at Katsu? I'm a morning person and I usually spend an hour to about an hour and a half reading, you know, digging up material because I learned very young, you know, when I was 20 years old, I came down with something and nobody could figure out what it was. I had a fever every day and a lethargic, and what it was was limes. I felt horrible and I knew how it was in my 20s and it just hit me like that. Unfortunately, I was diagnosed with chronic fatigue, fibromyalgia, and what's called um, Sjogren's syndrome. So those were three autoimmune that I still battle today, but nothing's gonna knock me down, I won't let it. I staved off back surgery for a good 20 years. I'm also really particular with providers. The problem with the spine, it's, it's avascular, meaning it, it doesn't really, the discs don't really get blood, which is my problem. I have desiccated disc disease mm -hmm. in addition to scoliosis. My life started to track by where by which I was barely keeping up with the ability to right. function. Right. And that went on for a couple of decades. I couldn't function anymore. And it got to the point where my staff could also see it all over my face. They were like, you're not doing well today. Yeah. It's daunting. You could easily get depressed, especially someone like me who's always looking. I'm an optimist and you, your attitude will dictate your altitude. No matter how hard I tried to look on the bright side, it was getting harder and harder to find. Yeah. So I had to seek out uh, the best surgeon I could find. He said it was the worst osteophyte he's ever seen in, in his decades of, of, of work. And he didn't know how I survived that long without wow. having that removed. And that brings me to where we are today. Let's track and see you know, what I've used in the past for my yeah. health. Traction unit. I mm -hmm. have a far infrared and a near infrared sauna. I also have an ultrasound unit that I'll use uh, mm. when it's, you know, when I have muscle spasms, I was using massage therapy as well at the time. I had gotten to the point where all that I could do was work. I traveled from New York, from Florida to New York. It got to a point where, of course, you're sitting all the time because I'm on the computer and I'm you yep. know, doing what I have to do. And when you sit, you, you add 40% pressure 
on your spine. So I would try to move. I would try. I wasn't able to really walk any distance whatsoever because the moment that my feet hit an uneven ground, the nerve endings would shoot up my spine and it was, it was horrible. I was sent for physical therapy on three separate occasions and I failed all three times. Forget my shoulders. I could not blow dry my own hair. When you're not moving those sheets in your back, when you're not moving your fascia, right. it's starting to glue. Motion is lotion. And if you're not moving, but then there comes the dichotomy of, okay, I have to move, but when I, when I move, it hurts worse. And then I hurt myself more. I would take three steps forward and 10 steps back. Uh, but I could never even get to a point where I could go for a walk. Wow. Because it was just too debilitating. Any time I put a weight in my hand, right. I would go backwards. And I was forced you know, to leave work. I loved what I did. I yeah. absolutely loved it. It, it. it was a perfect fit for me, but I just couldn't function anymore. Once that happened, I had an option. My option is I either wallow in my misery mm -hmm. or I kick it up a notch now. I get my information from really good sources. So when I read about Katsu, I'm thinking to myself, the way that I understood it was Dr. Mercola is a bodybuilder and he talks about how he builds muscle. I'm thinking that that it, it's for bodybuilders. It's for people that are are motivated to build huge amount of muscle. It, initially, when I learned about it uh, from the PTs and the Special Operations Command, and I looked up Dr. Sato out, out in Tokyo, and that was kind of my initial feeling with it too. Is like oh, it's all about making big muscles. That's not going to help me. That's not what I'm after. Exactly. I'm and that's how I felt. With all kinds of chronic pain, neuropathic pain, sleep issues. I spent 29 years in the military, Air Force Academy for four, transferred into the Navy, hard hat diver for three, and then I went into the SEAL teams for 22 years. Wow. And during my time in the SEAL teams, I had 13 orthopedic surgeries. I just got beat up. And, uh, and, and it was hard to keep functioning day to day, being in the active duty uh, mm -hmm. component. When I was at SOCOM, Special Operations Command, I had a, I ruptured a, a rotator cuff in my shoulder. And it was the exact same thing I had done when I was six years younger over in Germany. And uh, the surgery they did six years earlier in launch duel uh, at the hospital, there was a uh, three anchor, um, you know, they, they, they re-anchored the supraspinatus uh, rotator cuff. Exact same injury I got it when I was at SOCOM, exact same surgery. And the PTs that were working on me out of that surgery said, well, how long did it take you to recover from this last time. I said, it was horrible. It was 11 months. It took until I was in that 90th percentile of uh, you know, strength, power, and agility. And they said, well, we're gonna do it a little bit different. We're gonna do the same protocols on you, but we're gonna introduce this stuff called katsu. And I'd never heard of it. And I started looking mm. into it and I was like, what is this bodybuilding tourniquet crap gonna do for right. me? Right, because it just doesn't seem like it would work. No, and right away though, that very first day that Jim uh, let me put it on and try it, it was the standard rotator cuff movement with a very light um, TheraBand, mm -hmm. but it felt like four or five times harder than normal. <laughs> Doing this move with almost no weight whatsoever, and it's freaking hard. hard. Exactly. Like, what is going on? And he just starts laughing. He goes, that's that katsu. Man. Yep. And so five months later, I was at 90% strength, wow. range of motion, mobility, strength and agility. The weird thing was, was the more that I was using katsu, and learning about how to use it on my arms and legs, the more my my chronic, call it systemic back pain, and I'll show you pictures of my back, you'll just be like, oh my God, how are you walking? My back pain was dissipating in line with the rehab on, mm -hmm. my, on my shoulder. Mm -hmm. The beauty for me is I can do all that stuff, but go super light and, exactly. and, and not get that huge inflammation response in my back. Mm -hmm. So I don't, squat weight anymore, but I love to squat. I do air squats with katsu, and I'm telling you, doing air squats with katsu, I can make that, if I want, I can make that feel 
just like I had 400 pounds on my back. It's crazy. You know, let's face it, Katsu, understandably so. The cost is because there, it's a, it is a major piece of medical equipment and I highly respect it. And I was very respectful when I first started using mm. it as well. Good. But before I bought it, I was like you. I'm thinking Dr. Mercola, muscle, I don't need to do that, but I need a little bit because I'm losing it so quickly. The older mm -hmm. I get, the more that Worried I notice. About frailty, sarcopenia, exactly. all that stuff. I had fallen and I never got back to baseline after I, I was carrying a rug right out here and boom, my foot tripped. I fell, Ugh. hit my hip and I was, oh, it was terrible. So right before I bought it, I said, right. you know, let me check out reviews. I didn't go to Katsu for the reviews. Right. I just went for Katsu reviews. Okay. I was shocked that the majority of the reviews that I saw were from elderly, frail, and broken people. When I read that, I said to myself, okay, that's where I'm at. I'm yeah. not at where Dr. Mercola is in regards to his health, but I'm at the broken stage. Yeah. You know, here I am, I've had 42 epidurals. <laughs> 42? 42 epidurals Holy in my smokes. lumbar my cerv and my cervical spine in total. That is not regenerative, that is degenerative. You're only allowed three a year for a reason. It's yeah. because you can, you can spontaneously snap ligaments and tendons because it degrades that tissue. Yeah, you lose and a lot of that elasticity, exactly. right? And I just, you know, got to a point where I was like, I just can't keep functioning by getting epidurals. You know, that's not right, the answer. And right. I have been prescribed so many pain medications that I don't take. I refuse because I wasn't gonna get hooked on them. I was gonna find another way. So once I read those reviews, I said, that's it. I'm gonna bite the bullet and get the machine. You guys are great. You send instructional videos. You, you've got so much information that there's no one that can make a mistake unless you're just ignoring everything. Right. So I started with the low and I was, you know, I was very careful. I'm up to high now. It's nine months later. Mm -hmm. Now keep in mind, in the meantime, I have tried like I said, ultrasound therapy. I don't know if anyone, you know, has heard of PEMF therapy. Yes. I have yes. two units in this house. You gotta be careful. Yeah. You don't just yeah, jump into absolutely. something when it comes to that piece of equipment. And I approached Katsu the same way. I need to know about the science and I need to respect this because it truly is an amazing piece of equipment. Once I started using it, I am shocked. I can walk my dog now, and I do every day for an okay, average of 20 to 25 minutes. You're walking your dog for 20 to 25 minutes. A day. A day. And five years ago, how much walking were you doing? I couldn't. I could bear- When did you start using Katsu? I started using Katsu in August of last year. One of the things that prompted me to use katsu that I needed, that I had to do something is when um, Hurricane Ian came through, oh, yeah. we were displaced. Uh, yeah. Our home flooded, you know, we had never flooded before. We had less than 24 hours to get out. And my body, I had a lot of trauma from that. I had a lot yeah. of trauma from what it took to move and get our stuff out. Just the things that we had to do. It's totally set me back by years just years yeah. and I couldn't get back to baseline. I went to physical therapy and I still couldn't get through physical therapy. With all that help, I couldn't do it. And so I knew I needed to do something different outside of everything I already have and I already do. So once I started putting the, the armbands on, I'm noticing I'm getting muscle. I hadn't had muscle in, in forever. <laughs> and all I'm doing is going like this with the bands on. I don't have to move, yeah, I don't no have to do it. You don't have to do anything, really. I was still not comfortable putting weights in my hand, so I started putting katsu on when I did classical stretch. And when I read that katsu has the ability to exercise your large and your small twitch muscles at the same time, I'm sorry, if you're going to a gym, you're not getting your, you're not getting large and small, uh, uh, yeah, you're, you're twitch fat, muscles. fast and it's, slow, it, slow it's twitch, only, slow yeah, twitch, it's not working. Yeah. And you're, and, and that, that musculature, I think it's the fast, the fast, um, twitching muscles. You need that if you're about to fall. You need that fast twitch muscle. You need muscle that explosive to strength. Engage. Exactly. exactly. Otherwise, you, and, and that helps with your balance. It has exceeded above and beyond all that I could have expected from it to the point I don't want to be a day without it. That's why I have two units in this house. This unit has done more more for me and I'm trying to figure out, okay, what is it? Why is this simple mechanism 
of using these bands on your arms and your legs, doing, allowing my back to feel better than I, than it has in a long time. And the fact that, you know, I, I looked at my MRIs from 2021 and then I looked at the 2023 and I've worsened. My doctor said to me, what kind of trauma did you experience that you've got end plate fractures, you've got edema, mm -hmm. what did mm -hmm. you, you know, what happened? And it's just when you're all broken like that and you're, you know, physiologically, things aren't stacking where they need to be. Movement equals pain and yeah. inflammation. It has to reduce inflammation because I notice a difference in reduce. And I'm not doing anything different other than adding the bands. When you think about things like retina blood flow and uh, blood brain barrier and just your organs and chronic pain elsewhere, if you can increase blood flow to other parts of your body, systemically it, it just that's makes the answer sense. it's the answer and i don't know of any other way of doing it i mean yes you increase blood flow and you vasodilate when i go in the sauna but right. that didn't provide me with this ability to move and feel freedom and have a better range of motion and stamina and just the ability to walk i was talking uh to some uh, retiring green berets yesterday we had a, a big conference call and this one guy i think he's a sergeant major out in uh, germany he said you know i don't have any interest in being the guy that's going into the gym and lifting tons of weight anymore i'm in my 40s i'm retiring out of the army i want something that's going to allow me to live a long, healthy life, take care of my kids and my grandkids. I don't care about having big muscles anymore. Mm -hmm. And that started the whole conversation about what really got Dr. Sato to go down this road because the majority of our users are 55 and older. The majority of our users are women. And when you look at why Dr. Sato has even done what he's done, the country of Japan, the reason they subsidized all his work was not about bodybuilders and Olympic athletes and uh, professional athletes and all that kind of stuff. It was about, here's a country where they have a very low birth rate. They have the oldest demographic on the planet. Mm. What can we do for these people that are in their 80s and 90s and 100s? What can we do to help them not be so frail? I always thought that word sarcopenia meant that no matter what, when you turn 55, you're gonna start losing muscle mass. And what I've learned since being at this company is that's absolutely not the case. This is a way to not overly strain the skeletal system, but still get that healthy metabolic outcome from having, maybe not building muscles the right way to look at it, but toning the muscles throughout your body. You're exercising your vas your va vascular yes. system. Yes. Tell me, you tell me what can do that. Like I said, I know the sauna will, heat will, but you're not gonna get that type of, of, of blood flow where it's intermittent and it's doing so much because it's like a pump. It's like you're, you're, right. it, it, you're pumping right. in and out and in and out and in and out. There are so many people that, it's, it, that it would help that I know of off the top of my head. But how do you get through to them enough for them to recognize and realize that something that you may not understand has power beyond your belief and anybody who's over 50 should start using katsu. It's so difficult to get as much as we need as we age, that we need as much help as we can to build muscle. And you can do it literally by just sitting. I'll go on the WBVs sometimes and I just have them on my arms and I'm sitting there and I'm getting the massage from the machine and I'm letting it do its thing. And I don't, it's amazing. So you started using it, you said in 20, 2023. Correct. August? Yes. In August. Yes. How, how quickly did you notice something different? Well, the moment that I put the first time that I put it on, I noticed something different Okay. because I, you know, in reading the material, I'm thinking, okay, so you start with 10 reps. I could do more than 10 reps, but no, you really can't. <laughs> Once that goes on you, you don't, you know, you say to yourself, how can this really be? All you have to do is try it once and then you recognize, okay, this is definitely taxing my muscles. And then you see the result. I mean, after just the first usage, I saw the result. It's given me hope. Yeah. It's given me um, the ability to, just the ability to walk or, you know, walk my dog doesn't seem like much to many so, people. So 10 months ago, were you walking your dog no, at all? No, 
Oh, no. wow, not at all. How long until you actually were comfortable walking to the end of the driveway or don't taking the dog for a short walk? Well, I've got nine discs that are either bulging or desiccated or something. If I went to Costco, let's say, I'd have to rest for the rest of the day. I could walk through Costco. I need a back brace on to do it. But That's it, eight it months was, ago. Yes, it okay. was very painful for me. Got it. Um, I, you know, subsequently had to have injections in my hips and my SI joint just in order to, to deal. Whereas now I'm able to do things and I have energy. I started my garden again. I couldn't do my garden. With the exception of introducing Katsu into your life, what else did you introduce about 10 months Nothing. ago? Nothing. The only change I made was Katsu. Katsu. Really? That's the only change I made. So over 10 months ago, you were not able to take your dog, not nope. let alone a 20 minute walk. You couldn't take your dog for a, five a minute. one minute walk. It, yeah. Five. Oh, I could, but not without being shot. Ah, okay. I mean, I could go for a walk, but if I stepped the wrong way, I had nerve pain shooting into my head that was debilitating. Okay. So there was a fear yeah, yeah, involved yeah. In, in walking because... You know, just like anything else, if you're if you you stub your toe enough times when you make the bed, you're going to be real careful when you go near that part of the of, of yeah, your bed. Yeah, sure, exactly. So it was like that with walking. For me, walking was very hard. It was it was it put a lot of pressure on my spine. I mean, I had spent my the last decade figuring out what I can do because there was so much that I couldn't do. Whereas now I'm feeling like there's more that I can do than I couldn't do. I'm up in the morning and I, I put those bands on and then I put the, uh, I'll put the bands on on my arms and I'll take him for a walk. Seven, 7.30, I take him for a walk. With them on your arms? With them on my arms, Got yes. It. I make it a priority. My priority is katsu in the morning. Because okay, that so sets me up for the day. I, I'm just, I'm wrapping my head around uh, what you said. The fact that 10 months ago you were in such different place physically um what about uh pain anything you noticed my pain has lessened i totally noticed a difference before katsu if i wanted to do something around the house or if i wanted right. to stand on my feet for let's say from the morning making coffee or doing whatever while i'm standing the pain would always it's it's normally a two or a three it would wrap it would it would ramp up to like a four or five when i'm standing now i don't get pain when i'm standing at all and no i well i'm a two or a three i'm always a two or three but i'm not okay. finding that five or six i'm I, i'm rarely finding that five or six the katsus kept me so that i could stand on my feet for a, a longer duration of time and, and, and do basic things. I mean, I can't vacuum, I don't sweep. There's things I just don't and can't do. Right. Uh, you know, reaching, because I have certain restrictions with the mobility of my spine in addition right, to right, everything right. else. Yeah. What I found is my, my stamina has increased, the pain has decreased by a, a good, well, it, it went away. I would always have to sit because of the pain. Now I now I don't get the pain until I sit Excellent. and I put the pressure Excellent. on my spine. Then it says, I don't like this, but I liked where you were before, right. which was standing right. up, walking or moving around. Yeah. So moving. my body has changed. It's moving. My mm -hmm. body likes mm -hmm. to move now. It wasn't safe to move before. I'm also more acutely aware. It's better for my brain. My brain is better on katsu. I, I agree with that. I do a fair amount of public speaking just based on my my, my background and uh, my favorite thing to do before I get up in front of a big group of people it's a little nerve-wracking is I'll do cycles on my legs so in the hotel room I'll put the leg bands on and just passive but and, and it's hard to explain but I, I feel like I'm more sharp and I have the ability to think on so my feet better 
right after doing so that. So it's not my imagination. I personally see this as a way to augment your existing lifestyle or your existing activity level. Mm -hmm. Do you ever wear it when you're already Always. doing Absolutely. other things? Always. And that's the, my, I mean, I run it for six sets. So it might be that I'm walking him for the 20 minutes, but the rest of the time I, I'm at the, I'm in the kitchen or I'm washing up or I'm doing uh, always, I, I like to have it. That's why I learned to re, you know, to send the wires underneath my yes. clothes. So yeah. if I'm on the arms, the wires go underneath and the unit goes on my belt. Okay. So that's, you, that's great that you're using it that way. Cause yes. I, in my opinion, that's the best way to use this is to augment it into activities that you're Every already day. doing yes. anyway. Like do your chores, put them on. Walking the dog, put them on. Exactly. Of all the pieces of, of equipment that I have and all the thousands of dollars, tens of thousands of dollars that I've spent on my health, right. I would say that the best investment I ever made was, was Katsu. And that's saying something. Wow. That's a very powerful statement coming from you and all of your background. I'm not, I'm not being paid by you. Or I just no, want to help no, other people. No, there's no... There's no remuneration relationship here. Or I just want to share that there's hope and there's a way of doing it without hurting yourself. It, 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 it's hard to comprehend because it's so easy that you don't realize that it could make such a huge difference for such a what you would consider a simple thing. I don't feel like my future is a wheelchair anymore. Wow. A and I did. Katsu equipment is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. The statements made in this video have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. Please consult with a healthcare professional before starting any new exercise or therapy program. This video is for informational purposes only and does not constitute medical or professional advice. Katsu Global assumes no liability for any actions taken based on the information provided.